the wonderful Diana Morgan to talk some more about how to make your business even better. Thank you, Diane. Take it away. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and it was so great to hear Jill and it's perfect to come right after Jill because you take all that PR and you can use it to grow your social media online presence. Today, I want to inspire you to elevate your message to ensure your brand and legacy as an expert on social media. My mission is to raise the consciousness of social media in order to use social media to raise consciousness and to teach you how to grow your business. So just a little quick bit about who I am. I'm a recovered corporate misfit and uh, super long story short, I hated my job. And then one day my son came home from school and said he hated school. And that was the turning point. And I took one of those, the cosmic kick in the butt seminar where you go, I'm quitting my job in six months. And I got the voluntary uh, 30 day layoff. So I quit my job and I turned my calling or my hobby into a successful business. And I got to do that for 20 years. I got to be a stay at home and a working mom. I got to help found a charter school and I was very successful. And how I got so successful was that I got ahead of the curve on the internet in the last 10 years and cracked the code on how to get to the top of Google, which was a lot easier then than using social media and everything we have to use now. So I did that. And after uh, about um, 15 years, I realized I needed to change uh, to a different work situation. So um, what happened for me is that I started to help other wedding professionals with their internet marketing. And I was very successful with it. And I started to realize that I could really make a difference in the world and help people who were healing the world with their businesses and who they were by teaching people how to use the internet to grow their businesses. So that's what I did. In 2008, I found Whole Heart Marketing. And now I teach entrepreneurs the strategies that I use to build my business. And of course, you know, it started with building websites, SEO, blogging, and all of that stuff. And then it morphed into social media. And trust me, it was really a while before I could really embrace social media because I really just didn't, uh, I'm like, really, God, Facebook, this is my life. I was really on Facebook just to stalk my kids in the beginning. But what I realized finally was that Facebook and social media is a powerful force for change in the world. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, every sweet hath its sour. Social media can be just as annoying as it can be amazing. And that is what I want to talk about today, is how to use social media as an amazing and powerful force to heal the world and to grow your business. Whole Heart Marketing is a blended approach to authentic social media marketing that has evolved from my 30 years of experience in marketing, communications, psychology, and spirituality. A, a proven systems-based strategy for authentic heart-centered marketing to build continued credible visibility and influence with strategic partners and clients and followers while leveraging your time and resources to generate consistent income and make the bigger impact. So here's what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to talk about the steps to powerfully mastering the internet to grow your business, because it takes more than just posting on social media. I wanna talk about the missing link to your internet marketing success. And this is the secret that nobody talks about. And I wanna give you an internet marketing strategy to authentically grow your brand and legacy online and to attract your ideal clients and make a bigger impact even if you're an extrovert, I mean, an introvert, <laughs> an introvert, even if you're an introvert, because a lot of my clients are introverts and they just don't, they just were struggling with how to do this as an introvert. Social media is about building relationships, not really so much about advertising. In Web 3.0, maybe you've heard of Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is about building community more than building an audience. And that's what I want to talk about. You know, there's always going to be new social media platforms, both free and paid. There's always going to be a new place to hang your virtual shingle. But what you want to think about is whatever I'm talking about today, it's relevant to all social media. 
Okay. It's just whether you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, it's just different formatting mechanics, demographics. In fact, even on your blog and your website. So I'm the truth teller and I'm going to tell you four truths today. Number one, you can look like you're doing everything right and not be. You can be doing Facebook lives and reels and videos and all that stuff and not be getting any results. And you can still be scratching your head, wondering why you're not getting any results. Number two, just because someone else is doing it does not mean it's a good idea for your business. Okay. So this relates to a lot of things you see people do on social media. Like, you know, okay, so I'm going to tell you today from this day forward, the um, the the post that everybody throws around, hey, everybody, I'm only getting 25. Uh, Facebook's only showing me 25 of my people. And click in this link and say hi if you see this. That is engagement bait. Don't ever do it again. Facebook dings you for that. Okay. And so just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean it's a good idea or that you should do it. You should do the things that work for your business and the things that resonate with you. Okay. Truth number three. Less is more, okay? It's about quality versus quantity. And this is especially important for introverts and the overwhelmed. You don't have to be doing it all. And what is really important is that you're doing the things that resonate with you. If you're doing things that you don't wanna be doing on social media, it comes across, okay? So you don't have to do it all. Number four, truth number four, it takes more than just posting to have an ongoing supply of leads and clients. If you're someone who's building a business by developing the no like, and trust factor, by cultivating relationships, all the tricks and hacks are not going to get you where you want to be. Like I always say, for every hack, there's, a, there's an algorithm, okay? So you can't try to game the system. There are many different strategies and anyone can be successful if you're doing the right things. I'm going to teach you tried and tested strategies that I've helped thousands of clients with who have grown their businesses, turned their side hustle into a business, um, grown their direct sales businesses, all of those types of businesses that have benefited from these strategies. Okay, so let's dive in. It takes more than just posting on social media to get the clients you want. You want to be set up for success. Here are the four steps to set yourself up for success. So write this down. This is called the whole heart path to profit. Step one, it's personal, okay? So the very first thing you wanna think about is your message. Most people, they log onto social media, they open up Facebook or LinkedIn and they go, what should I say? That's not the first question. The first question is, who am I talking to? OK, so you, if you can imagine one person that is the person that you're talking to, who is that person? What is the struggle that they're experiencing that you are the solution to? What will cause them to lean in and say, tell me more? And what will inspire them to take the next action? So that's the very first thing. The internet is full of search engines. All of social media sites and platforms, they're just search engines. So it's crucial that you're using the words that your ideal clients would use to search for you when you're posting, when you're sharing. That's how the search engines decide what's going to show up in your feed and what's going to show up in your ideal client's feeds. So that's the first thing is your message and make it personal. Okay, so the more personal you can be, the more successful you're going to be. Step two, get to know each other. Okay, this is the plan. Some people call it the funnel, whatever you want to call it. Basically, what I want to recommend to you is no more random acts of social media. You want to have a plan. You want to have a way for people to take the next step to connect with you. Maybe it's a free thing. It should be a free thing. Maybe it's a live virtual training. Maybe it's a um, it's a webinar. I think that what you want to do is have something free that gives people a way to experience you the way they would experience you in some if they paid you. So that's what you want to be sharing on your social media. So you want to have your message. It's personal. You want to have your plan so you can get to know each other. Number three, and this is so important, 
nurture the relationships, okay? Not everybody's ready for you right now. Some people are ready for you right now. Other people need more information and other people, maybe it'll be down the road or never, but you want to be nurturing those relationships and building community on and offline. Okay. So how do you do this? You want to have your own online presence. You want to have a website where people can go and stay connected to you. You want to have email marketing and not promotional so much as email marketing to educate, inspire, and motivate, and really build those relationships. I cannot tell you how many people I've had come to me after three or four years. They're getting my emails every couple of weeks, and they're like, okay, I'm ready now. And if they weren't getting my emails, here's what would happen. When they were ready, they'd be going to that other person who was in front of them at the time when they were ready. Here's another thing that happened. Social media isn't, you know, it can go away any day. Facebook can decide like, okay, we're going to start charging you to reach your business page or else you're only going to reach 2% for free, something like that. So if you have your own website and your own email marketing, you are empowered to stay in touch with people. Um, one of the things I like to say is, you know, if you don't have email marketing and a website, using social media is like chasing a flash mob. And number three, number four, so you have your message, your plan, your community, nurturing the relationships, email and website. And number four is be intentional with your social media. Okay. This is a place for you to avoid the overwhelm. Be intentional, be focused, start thinking about who do you want to play with on social media? Okay. So I'm going to just take this to the next level and talk about intentional social media marketing. And this is the missing link to your internet marketing success. You are your brand. You are your message. Who you are is what people buy. Your most, you are your most powerful lead magnet. So bring your whole heart essence to your online presence. Everything is energy. We are all connected. When you, are, when you log on to your social media and you start to, to play, I like to say, people feel your energy. They feel whether like, so maybe sometimes you log on and you're like, oh God, I hate this. I don't want to do it. Kill me now. And sometimes maybe you log on and you go, oh boy, I get to get on social media and start to interact and play with some new friends. And people feel that energy. So think about that. That's why I say, don't do those social media platforms that don't resonate with you because people feel that. It's very important for you to feel that to be wanting intentionally to do what you're doing on social media. The internet is a 24 seven networking opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to connect and to refer and to build those relationships. So what I want to do is I want to give you a challenge and I offer this challenge every time I speak and, um, this is going to change your social media results forever. If you did not do anything else that I'm recommending to you today, this is going to change your results forever. Okay, here it is. I want you to find five people to start playing with on social media. And I like to say playing because that really just sets the tone for what I'm talking about and what you're doing. So who are these five people? Now, you know who you're talking to, you know what your struggle, the struggle is that you help people with, you know what the transformation is, you're set up for success, and now you're going to find people to play with who are in your lane. In other words, there are people who are active on social media, because if their last post was in July of last year, they're not the right person for this game. So there are people who are active on social media. There are people whose message is in alignment with your message. These days, if your message is not in alignment with their message, you're not going to want to share their content and they're not going to want to share yours. The next thing is that you are in some way or other power partners. So maybe you do the same thing, but you work with different kinds of people. Or maybe you do something different, but you're, uh, you're targeting the same group of people. So you want to think about those three things when you choose your people. And what I recommend that you do is you start with people who are you're already friends with or you're already connected with. So if you're super active on Facebook, go to your Facebook friends and pick five people that you haven't played with in a while 
or ever. Okay. If, if you're on LinkedIn, go to LinkedIn and pick five connections that you haven't played with for a while and start to play. So what does playing with them look like? Okay. First of all, you want to go through all of their social media that you're on and that they're on and connect. So of course, I want to back up to say that you want to make sure that your social media is current, that your image is current, your cover photos current, your bio and your about, all of your stuff is current before you start to do this. Because once you start to do this, it's really going to activate your social media. Okay. So how are you going to play? You're going to go and connect on all of their social media. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to just start checking them out. Start getting to know them. Start becoming familiar with who they are. Go to their personal page. See what you might be interested in. Go to their business page. See what you might want to share. Maybe they have a group that you'd like to be in. And start to engage. Start to like, comment, share, and care. So care is my acronym that I created, which is connect, acknowledge, respond, and engage. So one deep, heartfelt, engaging comment can have more impact for you than lots of likes and likes and likes. You know, every single step that you take on social media leaves a digital footprint. So people see your comments. They see who you're liking. And here's what happens when you start to do that. Number one, you're going to start liking what shows up in your newsfeed because that person's content is going to start showing up in your newsfeed. They're going to see the notification that, oh, so-and-so shared my, my post or liked or commented. And so they're going to start to come and check you out, presumably. I mean, isn't that what we do? Somebody shares our stuff and we go check them out. And then you're going to start to build this relationship. Now, here's what will happen. You'll start with five people a week. You know, um, three of those people are going to work out and two of them might not. And then you'll find another five. Two might work out, one might, you know, et cetera. So what you'll start to do is you'll start to build an online presence. You will start to train the search engines in how you want, what you want to see in your feed and what you want others to see in their feed. And it's a very powerful free organic reach strategy that I encourage you to try. And, you know, what's going to happen is you're going to start building an, an authentic online presence with quality, not so much as quantity. Thank you so much, Diana. I have never thought of the word care like that before. Um, you know, it's always people don't care what you know until they know how much you care. And you right. made a great acronym to go with that. And it's perfect. The other thing I love about what you did teaching, and everybody's done such a great job with this, is giving bite size advice, bite size things that you can, you don't have to jump in and do it all, right? You can do these few things, find five people to start playing with on social media and really get to know who they are. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for being here and donating some time and brilliance on your Friday. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.